I don't think there was a more despondent cat in the shelter than Ben Ben. Everyone who witnessed him avoided eye contact out of disgust. Unfortunately, no one was interested in adopting him. That's why the shelter ultimately opted to euthanize the cat. Thankfully, a couple stepped in at the very last minute and adopted Ben Ben. You probably wouldn't believe what occurred an hour after they brought him home. Some cats are fortunate enough to live in lovely homes, where they are constantly showered with affection, fed delicious food, and treated to plenty of cuddles. On the other hand, Ben Ben experienced quite the opposite. Sadly, this tomcat was one among the many that had to fend for itself on the streets in search of sustenance and a chance at rescue. Ben Ben's childhood in the wild was relatively trouble-free since his mother doted on him. This couple's love for one another saw them through lean times, including a few snowstorms. Sometimes Ben Ben and his mother made brief visits to the town. Some individuals in the neighborhood got attached to them, therefore they offered them food every time they visited. Others attempted to adopt the cats, but Ben Ben and his mother had spent so much time outdoors that nothing else seemed familiar. That's why any time someone welcomed them in, they might depart the very following day. Ben Ben and his mother had a great connection, but it was tragically cut short. On that particular day, Ben's mom went on a solo hunting trip. The unfortunate event occurred as she was returning to the wild and was being run over by a careless vehicle who then left the scene. Tragically, the cat passed away immediately away. A few moments later, locals found her caucus and took appropriate action. For hours, Ben Ben awaited for his mom, but she never arrived. The hours quickly became days. Yet his mother had vanished without a trace. Ben Ben ventured into town in search of her, but couldn't locate her. Very quickly, he realized that his mother would not be returning. This was the first time in the cat's life he had been separated from his mother. How, though, could he possibly make it in the real world? Ben had a rough few days after that. Nobody was there to watch out for him, and he had no idea how to get food. His predicament was hopeless and would only worsen. Ben Ben was seriously hurt after being assaulted by a wild beast a week later. Poor Kitty, he was experiencing such agony, he just laid there on the floor. Absence of zest for living correlated with the passage of time. Thankfully, a group of animal rights activists learned that several strays were hiding out in the bush and set out to bring them back to safety. After a long trek, the rescuers were startled by the sound of a cat's mewing. The animal's distressing cries made it clear that it was in severe discomfort. They bowed because they obeyed the calls. The next time we met him, he seemed despondent and defeated. He fought us off as we tried to pick him up. All he wanted to do was stretch out on the floor. He was opposed to our assistance. Oh, the tragedy. A member of staff mentioned. The crew observed Ben Ben had a perpetually downcast expression on top of his ailments. They'd never before seen a cat that had such a terrible expression. Therefore, they concluded that Ben Ben's outward appearance indicated severe discomfort. They quickly found out that this was not the case, however. Emergency personnel transported Ben Ben to the hospital, where doctors diagnosed him with a shattered spine many severe lacerations, and a damaged ear. Furthermore, the doctor warned that Ben Ben would experience almost little movement at all. Despite widespread pessimism, Ben Ben made the difficult decision to undergo life-threatening surgery. Ben Ben's co-workers were so inspired by his resolve that they made the decision to adopt his Christian worldview. They made sure he had a comfortable place to sleep and something to eat when he arrived. Ben Ben's hair grew back within a few weeks, but he was still unable to walk thereafter. The fact that Ben Ben's expression remained unchanged and melancholy startled the employees as well. The vet examined Ben Ben's face thoroughly and found the cause of the cat's peculiar appearance. I mean, Ben Ben's melancholy expression was due to the extra skin on his face. Ben Ben's psychological health deteriorated again after a few months in the shelter. Given his inability to go anywhere, the cat eventually became restless. Because he couldn't join the other cats in their sprints and games, he felt there was no point to his existence. Every day, Ben Ben saw several visitors take home cats from the shelter, but nobody ever picked him. The staff was concerned as well since nobody really wanted to take in Ben Ben. On the other hand, they were pleasantly surprised when a family of four entered the shelter one day. They were fascinated by Ben Ben's appearance and made the decision to adopt him. After being informed about Ben Ben's health condition, they'd assured the staff that it would not be an issue for them to care for him. Well, the outcome would indicate that it was one. A short three days later, that they couldn't handle Ben Ben's physical difficulties, so we took him back to the shelter. 
Ben Ben's mental health deteriorated after his return to the shelter. The cat grew despondent and rejected the majority of the food offered to him by the staff. It had been a few weeks, but Ben Ben's health had not improved. He was unable to recover his mobility back and also lost weight. The shelter ultimately opted to euthanize the cat due to its poor health, although it was a difficult choice. The group had no further ideas about how to proceed. The fact that Ben Ben already had given up made no difference. In any case, the moment of salvation was not far off. Lissy, a member of the veterinary clinic staff, heard about Ben Ben's tragic situation and decided to take action. The Tomcat was discussed with her boyfriend, Sam. She also displayed in images of her cat Ben Ben, and the young guy promptly developed cat-like feelings for the animal. I'm hoping for a lot of shimmer and shine. Looking into those teary eyes, Sam and his fiancée, he added, now shared a common purpose. They aimed to restore Ben Ben's joy and provide him with inspiration, strength, and affection. The following day, Lizzie and Sam went to the shelter and completed the appropriate paperwork. The employees then released Ben Ben from his cage, since his departure to his new home was imminent. The employees assured the pair that no one would be insulted if they wanted to bring back Ben Ben. However, the owners vowed that wouldn't happen. After they returned home, the pair washed Ben Ben thoroughly in the bathroom. They sat down next to the cat and wouldn't leave his side. When it came to cuddling the cat, Lizzie and Sam took turns. When it came to making Ben Ben feel desired and cherished, they spared no effort. Oh, and did you know what? It was like a miracle it worked. Then, an hour later, everyone saw something unprecedented for quite some time. The happy Ben Ben gushing began all of a sudden. The light in his eyes was really bright. Both Sam and I cried uncontrollably when we watched it. Once again, after a very long absence, happiness and vitality filled this cat's body. Men, Lizzie said inquisition regarding Ben's house grew. He was curious to learn more about his new family and explore his new surroundings. So, Lizzie and Sam gave him a tour of the city. Ben's pupils were dilated and his voice was raised as they moved around the home. Everything indicated that now the cat was really content. It was on this day when Ben changed into a whole new cat. Two persons who cared for and desired this cat were all it needed to bring him out of his cage. Sam, I just wanted to say something to you. Ben stated Ben took on the role of mini supervisor around the home. He was always dropping in to see how everyone was doing. Now comes the most lovely part. If you recall, Ben Ben the Tomcat disproved the vet who stated he would never walk normally. When Ben Ben first moved in with Lizzie and Sam, it was a few months afterwards Ben Ben had arrived. Within a few of weeks, he not only learned to walk, but also to sprint and lead short distances. How stunning. He's making such great progress. The people who have known him the longest cannot believe how great he has become. In an interview, Lizzie revealed her love for me. Later on, Lizzie and Sam decided to give their pet a social media presence by creating an Instagram account for Ben Ben. A few weeks later, Ben Ben's tail was picked up by animal influencers. The creatures were well-liked by everybody. Awe-inspiring account. A lot of people who read it went looking for Ben Ben on other social media platforms and ended up following him. Ben Ben is now eight years old. How is he doing? Despite that, his expression remains glum. A sad person, he is not. Now that his problems have been solved, Ben Ben, the cat, is content. As the youngest of four children, he is showered with love and care. Ben Ben's Instagram account has been validated. To top it all off, he has 639,000 people to follow him. Whoa, that's an amazing accomplishment. More than everything, I hope this cat and his human family is filled with love and joy. Were you entertained with the tale? Then give it a positive vote of confidence and spread the word.